again, you might remember a video I made a long time ago now showing you how to set up panoramic desktops. Really successful video, really bad video. It was terrible quality. I re recorded it in bad lighting with my SLR camera and it, it just didn't work at all. Um, still, you all watched it and a few people subscribed. Thanks a lot for that. Um, I've decided to make a new version of it after the release of Windows 8 and 10. I thought it would be good to show people it's still possible. It's a lot easier in Windows 10, but it can still go wrong if you don't use the right file size. So I thought I'd show you now. It'd be really helpful if you could drop a quick like and subscribe if you want to catch up with all the content that's coming soon. Previous life tragedy for me is, well, has caused a lack of work for me and I really need to make a go of this YouTube thing now. So there's going to be a lot more stuff coming soon. I'm going to put a lot of time into it and um, hopefully help you with some good tutorials. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you find all the right images that you want to use and they have to be twice the resolution of your monitor across, not upwards. So minus 1680 by 1050, my monitors. So for it to work as panoramic desktop, you have to get it so it's 3360 by 1050. Same height, double the width. And then what you want to do is put them all in a folder together, depending on the theme. That's what I've done with mine. And then you want to go to right click on the desktop, go to personalize, and then choose whether you want a single picture or a slideshow, and browse to the actual folder that you've kept them in and select whichever one you want to start with um, or whichever one you want to set choose that picture I'm going to just use that Obisu one because it's nice and then you want to for Windows 10 you select span or tile will still work like it was in Windows 7 but span is usually the one for Windows 10 but a lot of people will get images that aren't the right size and so they'll look really pixelated when they're stretched across both screens. So I recommend getting an image that's the same height but double the width of your monitor. And that way it'll look high, high resolution and it'll look a lot nicer. What you do want to do is make sure that your primary monitor is the monitor on the left. Otherwise it'll go back to front. So you want to right click on the desktop and go display settings in Windows 10 this is again and make sure that your primary monitor is on the left because you can drag these around, see? Make sure it's on the left and then it should work nicely and smoothly and it will pan from left to right the right way. Okay, for Windows 8 it's pretty much the same as this. I can't show you that though but it, it is very similar to this because Windows 10 is basically Windows 8 that's been finished. <laughs> for Windows 7, I'll go ahead and put in the footage now for you from my old video, but it's very simple. Okay, so I'll let you watch that now. Okay, so for Windows 7, all you want to do is you want to... Oh God, this is bad quality. I'm watching this back now to show you the picture quality was terrible because I used my camera. Um, so you want to right click on the desktop and go to personalize and then you go to set up all your sounds and your background color and your screensaver then you go to background image and you browse to the folder that you've kept them in same as you did with Windows set with Windows 10 go to pictures wherever you've saved them find the folder look at that picture quality wow okay I went with landscape and I've set it to slideshow and change the next oh yeah make sure you, your primary monitor mine was number two because I, I had three but one was away um, is on the left same as with Windows 10 get on with it and press, o nope. press OK and then you make sure you set it to tile and then it will tile the image from left to right because it's the same height so it can't tile up and down it will tile from left to right as I'm demonstrating with my hands now <laughs> and then I'm going to show you with the camera which I'll do again for Windows 10 in a minute there you go <laughs> positioning it so yeah that's it uh, for Windows 
10 I'll carry on now. Okay, so otherwise that's it for Windows 10. Um, it's a really simple process. Uh, if, you, if you've got two monitors that are different sizes, then you want to go with double the size of the biggest monitor, because otherwise on the big monitor, if you went with double the size of the small one, you would end up with a small section tiled of the image at the bottom or the top, and it wouldn't look as nice. So go with the biggest monitor, and that way it won't look the same on the other monitor, but it will match up a lot better than it would if you used it the other way around. Um, if you have three monitors, you just do the same process, but three times the width of each monitor, and that way it will span across all three. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So if you, like I say, if you like this kind of content and you want more, let me know any ideas for things that you want to know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help. I always try and answer all my comments. Please drop a like and a subscribe, help support my channel because this is going to be my main focus for a while now and maybe for the future if you keep me, keep me uh, going on it. And um, thanks for watching and I hope it's helped you out. My name's Tom, this is PC Spec Ops. Thank you. Bye.